All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for checking it out. So we've got a pretty big announcement today in the world of home arcade and pinball gaming. So At Games has finally revealed photos and a detailed spec list about their upcoming virtual pinball machine that was actually teased earlier on this year. Now, if you guys have been following along with this specific product, you know how tight-lipped At Games has been with this, literally only revealing information by the way of spreadsheets. Well, today we actually get an official look to see the device and get a ton of other information. Now, for this video, I'm really just going to try to keep it focused on a few different aspects. I really just want to go over the artwork, the table shots, dimensions, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the game list. But if you guys are interested in more details about it, I'm going to leave a link to a live stream that I was invited to over at P-Dubs Arcade Loft, where you can go and we talked about a lot more of the fine details and answered some of the community questions. Now, the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the actual big reveal. This right here is what the machine will look like. And as you can see at games with the expected multi-cade artwork style, but it was done in a very different direction than the art style they had done for the Legends Ultimate Arcade. Now, this is actually a really smart move because there really wasn't a ton of people who liked the original art style to begin with. We will go over each panel up close shortly, but for right now, I just want to focus on the cabinet design. So this isn't quite your typical boxy looking pinball machine cabinet. The style is something more like what you would see in the do-it-yourself market or kind of the, the home-built market. And I actually personally like the shape. It's different from other companies that are currently in or entering the market. It's very sleek and sharp and Honestly, I think it just looks nice. Now, one of the big differentiating factors between this machine and its competitors is the size. This is nearly a full size cabinet with dimensions of 63 and a half inches tall by 18.9 inches wide and 42.3 inches deep. This is a really big machine. This is coupled with a 32 inch 1080p monitor that's going to be running these games at 60 FPS and the secondary back glass monitor, which is also really large at 15.6 inches. Now, this was actually in increased over the original announcement that we were told that it was going to be 14 inches. Now we're actually going to go ahead and take a look at each of the panels up close so you guys can see the actual artwork. Now I did mention at games went with a multi kid approach, which a lot of people don't like. And to be honest, that's actually how I felt as well. But I think they did this in a very tasteful way. They paid great homage to the original Gottlieb tables by interlaying them together with a little bit of a separation. And it kind of gives like a modern day comic book feel, which I really like. So on the right side panel, we have gladiator art on the left, centigrade in the middle and bone busters on the right. The front plunger plate is just static black with a legends pinball logo underneath of your admin buttons. And then on the left hand side panel, we have genie on the left, Cactus Jacks in the middle and Wipeout on the right. Now we also have a small apron under the screen that will have a mashup of Al's Garage Band Goes On World Tour and the class of 1812. And the back glass itself is actually fairly clean, but it is wrapped with haunted house artwork on either side. And I really wasn't sure how I felt about the multi cade art style approach. And I've said it a bunch of times in the past that I like things to look as they originally did but I do think the art was done really tastefully. I'm excited to see how this is gonna look in person. Now, the last thing here that I'm gonna talk about in my video is the games list. So we have known in advance that At Games was working with Farsight Studios and the games list wasn't gonna be too difficult to figure out if you went to the pinballarcade.com website and looked around. But now we officially know that we're going to be getting 22 Gottlieb tables and I'm not gonna go into full details, but I will leave them up on screen for you guys to check out. But this list isn't at all where it ends because At Games is going to continue to expand their streaming pinball tables and as we recently found out at games is actually currently developing original pinball tables that are going to be able to be downloadable and run natively on the machine as well using title licenses like bubble bobble space invaders and even operation wolf which to me is actually really really cool but that is more or less all I'm going to cover in this specific video. My thoughts are that I'm actually really looking forward to this thing. I think it looks really awesome and I love the future expandability of it, but I am curious to get my hands on it and see how well it plays. But that's all I've got for you guys. Please let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. Is the artwork and design a hit 
or a miss for you. Consider subscribing for more content like this and hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.